Welcome to your daily dose of leak code. Today we're doing the question, kth largest element in a stream. Let's read the question. Design a class to find the kth largest element in a stream. Note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element. Implement kth largest class. So in simple terms, this problem is asking you to create a class named kth largest. And we have to implement the two methods. The constructor, kth largest, that takes in an integer k and a stream of numbers, nums, where k is the position of the largest element we're interested in while nums is the initial list of numbers. We also have to implement the add method, which appends an integer value to the stream, and then we return the kth largest element in the updated stream. So what are the key takeaways from this problem? Well, the first key takeaway is that we have to design the class itself. The second key takeaway is that we have to find the kth largest in sorted order, not in the order that we're given. The third key takeaway is that we need to initialize the class with two member variables, k and nums. The fourth key takeaway is that the add method only needs to add the number to our nums and then return the kth largest after adding the number. The last key takeaway is that we're guaranteed that there will be at least k elements. So we won't have a situation where k is greater than the length of nums. So let's start thinking about some solutions. The brute force solution that we could do for this is that in our nums array, we could simply just every time we add a number, we store the number in the array, and then we'll sort the array in descending order, where the largest element is at the top. After we sort the array, we're just going to return the kth largest by returning the element at the index of k minus 1, since k is not zero indexed like our array. So let's write the code for this solution. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is set up our constructor, so set up our member variables nums and k, and now we're going to go on to our add method. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the value to our nums array and then we're going to sort the array and remember to sort it in descending order where the largest element is at the beginning and all we have to do now is return the kth largest element which is going to be the element in our nums array at the index of k minus one since k is not zero index like our array the time complexity for this is split into two parts the constructor and then the add method. The time complexity for our constructor is going to be O of n since we're just storing all n elements. As for the add method, the time complexity for this depends on the programming language that you use and the sorting algorithm, but since I use the built-in Python sorting algorithm, it's going to be O n log n since we're sorting our array every time we add an element to it. Now for the space complexity, it's going to be O of n since we're storing all n initial elements in the constructor. Let's start thinking of an optimized solution. Currently, we're sorting the array every single time we add an element to it in order to get the largest elements at the beginning of the array. So let's think about this. Is there some sort of data structure that we can use that gives us the smallest element at the top or the largest element at the top? And there is a data structure that does exactly that, and it's a heap. We can use a min heap for this problem. And the nice thing about a min heap is that it has a property where the smallest element is always at the top. We can take advantage of this property for this problem by making the min heap a size of k. Since if we keep the size of the min heap to k, this means that the top element in the min heap is always going to be the kth largest number. So in the add method, every single time we add a new number, we're going to check if the size of the heap is greater than k. If it is, then we're just going to pop a number out while maintaining the heap property. Since if we maintain the heap property, every time we access the first element of our heap, it's still going to be the kth largest element. Let's write the code for this. I think it'll make more sense if you see it in code. All right, so first things first, once again, let's create our member variables, nums and k. And now we're going to transform our nums variable into a heap. And now we're going to shrink the heap size into a size of k. And now for our add method, we're going to add the value into the heap and make sure we keep the heap property. And now we're going to check if the size of the heap is greater than k. And if it is, we're going to pop an element from the heap while maintaining the property. By the time that's done, we're going to return the top of the heap, which is going to contain the kth largest element. The time complexity for this is once again split into two parts. The time complexity for the constructor is going to be O of n log n because we have to do the heapify operation and that takes O of n time. And then we have to shrink our heap into a size of k. And every time we remove an element from our heap, that takes log n time. Now the time complexity for our add method is going to be O of log n. And this is because whenever we do the add method, there's a chance we have to remove an element from our heap and removing an element from our heap takes log n time. Now the constructor method can be optimize a little bit more but overall it's still the same strategy of just keeping a heap of size k all right so those are the two main methods of solving this problem and if you guys have a specific problem you want me to go over let me know but i'll see you guys in the next video so see ya